I think that the fascination of word usage is what's fucking the left up, right? Because sometimes the way people speak is not indicative of what they believe and who they are, right? I, sometimes I use the word bitch. Feminist, white feminists are like, you can't use that word. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> And I'm going to share a story that happened at Manhole Tuesdays at Motherload because I used to go there every week, so I saw some wild shit. Because one night, I was out dancing with my friend Solomon, and he wanted to take a cigarette break. Now, normally, I don't go outside with him, but for that night, I was like, oh, I need a break. I'm all sweaty. Let's do this. Get some fresh air. So we're standing outside the club, and this brawl spills out of the bar, and it... And it quickly becomes just three gay dudes versus three trans women. And it's crazy. Like they're throwing bows, it's bananas. It's really crazy. And it's quick to find out, because I don't know if you guys know, in the LGBTQ community, there is a hierarchy within them and it's really fucked up. A lot of gay men think they're the top notch shit and they discriminate against literally everybody else. You see that everybody's agreeing like, mm-hmm. Because it's true. And trans women, trans women of color, are at the bottom. It's really fucked up. So it's pretty quick to analyze and figure out that these gay dudes you know, are, are accusing these women of not being real women. And the way we can figure that out is because one of the bitches is like, oh, I ain't a real woman. Oh, I ain't a real woman. Well, this pussy is real. And she pulls her skirt down <laughs> and exposes her pussy to everybody on Santa Monica Boulevard that night. And that pussy was beautiful. <laughs> It was new, it was shiny, it was, and I am not joking, it was bedazzled. It was like, just looked so beautiful under the moonlight. I was like, yo, I need to upgrade. My shit's hella used. I was legit jealous. I was like, she got that new model. I gotta invest. <laughs> so they're just talking shit. It's really crazy. And then cops show up. Woo! As soon as the cops show up, I'm like, ah, oh, this fight's over. This is crazy. The fight's done, right? And I realize nobody's getting the fuck out of there. The gay dude's like, we're gonna talk to these cops. And they start going toward the cops. Tran two of the trans women are like posted up on against the wall because one's trying to talk sense into the other one. The other one is like, I'm gonna go talk to these cops too. And I was like, yo, this is all fucked up. Cops are gonna, I'm from Modesto. Like, you, uh, if cops show up, you get the fuck out of there. <laughs> so I snap into action. I run over to the two women over here and I'm like, hey, bitch, these cops don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about your life. You're gonna end up in a men's jail cell. You're gonna get fucked literally and figuratively. Get the fuck out of here. And she snapped out of it. She was like, oh, shit. She wiggled a little skirt back on. <laughs> she was about to run. She was like, my friend. And I was like, I'm going to get her. Get the fuck out of here. And they run. And I go over to the other trans woman. And I was like, hey, these cops are going to fuck about you. They're going to fuck about your life. You're going to get fucked. Literally, literally, get the fuck out of here. Your homes and girls are out of here. And she was like, oh, shit, looking for her friends. I was like, they're gone. Go. And she runs. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> it is. Nothing happened. So what I'm trying to say is, I might say some wild shit up here but at least I fucking look out for motherfuckers. You guys will. A lot of people will be online talking shit, donating their money, going on a fucking march. If you don't look out for people, when shit pops off, your word ain't shit. So, that suck a dick joke was good. <laughs> <laughs>